How are you, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. I'm going to start it out with a little Medicate My Mind by Blackberry Smoke. Blackberry Smoke. Check them out. It's like my new theme song. Watch this for a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right? We have started the podcast. Medicated live right here on a Monday night. Facebook live, everybody. Facebook live. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. It's a Monday night. It's the free episode. Fucking great band, right? Check them out. you had a good day everybody happy monday how are you i brought a little guinness for today's live podcast i'm recording this it's gonna go out it's gonna go out on itunes and everywhere else uh that i do the uh the monday episode kind of got a new couple of new rules here with the medicated podcast first off uh only Monday's episode is going to be free, okay? And it's going to be on Facebook Live. That's it. That's where it goes, okay? And then every Wednesday, another episode will come out. And that'll be for the Patreon subscribers only, okay? So if you're a Patreon subscriber, you will get that episode, okay? You will get it on video. You will also get the audio, so you can download it. But that, that's the only people that will get it. And I just put a new tier up. Well, I'll put a new tier up as this episode ends. For people that want to pay $2.99 a month, you'll get all the audio of the episodes. And then all the other tiers will stay the same. All the different video versions of the podcast. Okay? So, this is also new. 50% of the money that I make... On my Patreon page, which, as we know, is com is shit right now. It's it's shit. I have such a low amount of subscribers. It's hilarious, and I understand a lot of you don't want to pay money, but this is actually a good cause. Okay, fifty percent of it is going to go to the nonprofit company that I'm working with, called Twaloha is their acronym. Twaloha, T W L O H A dot com. You can look them up. Huge nonprofit company. They have 1.4 million Facebook followers. I think they got between 250 and 300,000 uh, Twitter followers. And they, well, I messed that up. Their Facebook following is 1.4 million. They're big. So I'm doing a tour that I'm partnering with them that starts this week the Mental Health Comedy Tour. I'm doing the punchline in Philadelphia. I'll be there Thursday through su uh, Saturday. Okay? Thursday through Saturday. All those shows will be fundraisers for the nonprofit company Twaloha. T W L O H A dot com. And we will also be doing a fundraiser for them at the comic strip in New York City on Thursday, May 30th. On that show will be myself. I guess I'm the anger, anxiety, ADD portion of the mental health comedy tour. Uh, my partner on this tour is Preston Gitlin, uh, who star, who, uh, who, who, who works, uh, I guess his, his Twitter is at comedy. Uh, he had a, he's a business guy, you know, who's uh, semi-new semi to the comedy game, semi-new to the comedy game. And uh, he's going to be hosting all the shows. 
and I guess he's the uh, he's the neurotic uh, anxiety attack guy that's on medication. We added uh, we just added Dan Natterman to the show. Do you guys know Dan? You guys probably if you're podcast listeners, you know Dan. Yeah, he has uh, his own podcast. I guess he's on that Comedy Cellar podcast that they do right from the uh, Comedy Cellar. He's on that. Uh, he's been on, God, every TV show there is. Uh, Dan told me he suffers from OCD, and uh, I want to play a little play a little clip of Dan, if I can. Uh, here's his little sizzle reel. Comedians always have a sizzle reel. This is Dan. So Dan's uh, added to the tour, and also this girl, uh, Chloe LaBranch, is going to be on the show, and uh, she's been sober for about uh, a year and a half, so she's filling the addiction side of things, and uh, the founder of Twiloha will be speaking at that gig at the comic strip. The, these shows in uh, Philly this week, if anyone's coming to those, <coughs> uh, I'm just doing my regular stand-up act, and then we're, uh, we're, we're doing fundraise, a fundraiser at every one of the shows. So that's basically what's going on in Philly. The stand-up shows won't be much different. So let's check out a, let's check out a little Dan Natterman sizzle reel here. Check check this out. All right, I'm gonna walk away, but check it out. All right, folks. So keep in mind, uh, this uh, live uh, podcast is, uh, as you can tell, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's a little low budget there. It's a little low budget. <laughs> as I cut to the television, uh, and you know, you, and you can't put the, you know what I mean, put the videos right into the camera. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a team of people here. It's just me. My iPhone, my computer, and uh, on the on the Wednesday episodes, I uh, I edit it all together. I cut it. I cut it all together in, in post and make it kind of neat. Okay, that's how it happens. So if you're expecting some sort of uh, perfect fucking stream, you can go fuck yourself. If you're like, oh, I, uh, well, this podcast, uh, this thing doesn't uh, doesn't look right. It should. Uh, uh, this free thing on Facebook. Usually people are fucking FaceTiming themselves in their car driving, okay? I'm one of them, all right? So, 
I think this looks a little better than the uh, FaceTime or Facebook Live while, while you're driving. And you got the, the camera here and you're looking at it every once in a while while you're driving. So, uh, so like we added Dan Natterman to the tour and he'll be doing the, th the 30th. And uh, we're adding other comedians uh, at, at different venues and different cities and all that kind of thing. And it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of exciting building shit yourself. Because, unfortunately, it's not 1981 anymore where you go, you, you know, you contact an agent and you tell them your idea. And they're like, yeah, I want to represent that idea. I want to take it around. I think I can attach... Some uh, other nonprofits. I think I can get some uh, medicated or uh, medications connected to the tour, and I really have some ideas for you. They don't have ideas. Nobody has ideas until what you have is already big. And then they're like, "Oh man, I really love your idea." Jeez, I've been. I think a mental health comedy tour. Oh my god. I mean, it it so makes sense. I mean, Louis C.K. went through all his issues and. Uh, you know, um, all these comedians, you know, like Robin Williams and all these different, you know, Freddie Prinz and all these su suicide and, uh, um, geez, I mean, I mean, it's just, it so makes sense. It's just, I love it. I love it. I, I want to represent you. I think, uh, we can make, we can make a lot of money with this idea. No, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna come anywhere near it until it's already big. It's like you literally... They only want you when you don't need them anymore. It was like this production company that I had that was about to take the uh, stand-up lie-down idea out. It's a big production company. They love Dr. Keith Ablo. They wanted him connected to the project. And as you know, shit went down with Dr. Keith Ablo. It all hit the fan when all this stuff came out. And then the whole idea was kaputs, was done. And I'm sitting there fucked because of the guy I was doing the show with, his reputation is shot by allegations that came out in the news about him. And it was, cl it was classic. Like, they, they literally said to me after that, they go, you know, we could still go forward with this idea. We can't use Dr. Keith, of course. Maybe we can get another doctor um, but if you, you, we don't want to take it out unless you have an A-list celebrity who's the producer of the show. We love the idea, but it needs an A-list comedian producer. <laughs> I literally said to them, I go, do you realize if I have an A-list, like they don't even mean like, like I mentioned Sebastian Maniscalco to these guys and they literally go, we don't really know him. And I'm like, really? He sold out Madison Square Garden for shows. Like, even if you're too dumb to know who he is, if he sold out Madison Square Garden and he made the Forbes list, you should just take my word for it that maybe you're an idiot. Do you have Google? Do you have Google where you are? Google. Because he's like in the top five comedians in the world right now. So, and that's fucking huge to be like the top five in the world. Not many comedians are doing four shows at Madison Square Garden. And I don't mean like over a year. I mean four nights in a row like he's Billy Joel or something. It's pretty big. Maybe uh, him and they're like, I don't really know. Give me a break. Give me a break. And then I, I had to be honest with him. I'm like, listen, if I get an A-list celebrity, we don't need you. We can go right to the networks. If I have Billy Crystal or like, uh, I'm trying to think, of if I have uh, Chris Rock or Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> connected to the project, we don't need this little, this production company. We just go. I'm like, listen, I got this show. You know, we go right to Netflix. Boom, it's on the air. That's what Jerry Seinfeld did with uh, Brian Regan. I don't know if that show got canceled yet. And I love Brian Regan. Brian Regan is one of my favorite comedians of all time. But that show that Seinfeld put together 
with Brian Regan that was on Netflix. Did you guys even see it? I forget the name of it. It was called like, uh, it was something like too obvious. And I like I love Brian Regan, and he's doing this show where he's redoing his old bits from like 20 years ago, and then they're cut, and they're going into sketches. You know, like it's the Dave Chappelle show from Comedy Central so many years ago. I'm like, if you're not smart enough to know that television has evolved, and you can get away with doing like a real show now, like you don't have to do like here's a bit that I did. 22 years ago about, uh, you know, being stupid in school or the spelling bee or whatever his like classic pits were, uh, the big yellow one's the sun. And then it like cuts to a sketch. Come on. Like, I mean, Lu Louis say what you want, but I mean, uh, with all the shit that went down with Louis, but like when that show came on, on FX, it was unique and it was different and we hadn't seen anything like that. Like you get the chance, you got Jerry Seinfeld and you got Netflix. Do something really fucking cool. Take a chance. Don't go right fucking down the middle, you know? Say what you will about my podcasting and uh, oh, you know, it's about mental health and nobody cares about mental health. At least I'm not going straight down the fucking middle. That's the way I look at it. It's not boring to me. I mean, uh, a lot of these podcasters, especially in New York, it's like uh, everybody's just shitting on each other. I kind of miss the times when comedians... There, I, there used to be an unspoken rule between comedians that we didn't shit on other comedians. Like, I feel guilty just saying that about Brian Regan just now. But at least I'm saying, like, he's one of the greatest talents ever. Like, I love Brian Regan. I was looking forward to that show. I'm not shitting on Brian Regan. I'm saying he's great. There's nobody that makes me laugh like him or my stomach hurts. So, uh, comedians going on each other's podcast and just shitting on each other and then getting in fights at comedy clubs, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Don't be a dick. Just talk about shit. Don't talk about each other. Like, we're one. It's hard as shit doing this for a living. And then, on top of it, we gotta worry. And we got other people just bringing our fucking names up and, and shitting on us on other podcasts. Just fucking let, you know, come on. Be above that. Be above that. You know? Talk about, so there's so many celebrities you can shit on. Just don't, you know, you're not going to see, uh, I don't know, certain actors aren't going to go on and shit on other actors that they might have to fucking come across. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to see me. You're going to see these other guys. Now you got to look over your back. Like I said this uh, on my Patreon today. I said, because some comedians were like, or some of the patrons were like, because, uh, you know, I have a, there's a, there's a blog on the Patreon page. If you want to subscribe to my Patreon to get these added perks, get the video of all the episodes, get the ability to download the audio of the episodes, and, and get all the other perks that you get, but you got to go to patreon.com backslash medicated to see what it is, but... It, 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 if, you, if you go there, you'll see that, like, there's, we message each other. We talk to each other on there. Sure, it's not a lot of people. I fucking know. I'm shitting on myself. I stink. Uh, I, I don't have a huge fan base. I can tell that my fan base would be bigger if I just, like, shit on people and, like, shit back on everybody that shits on me. But it's just, like... That's not what I do. I'm, I just, I don't want to do that. You know, that was me unmedicated. That was me when I was a fucking asshole, okay? But I really wasn't an asshole. It was just anxiety that turned me into this asshole. Anyone who has anxiety problems, if you're out there watching right now, you know, severe anxiety can make you a fucking asshole. It can make you snap. It can make you angry. 
It can get you fired at your jobs. It can make you get divorced. I don't understand these guys. I see. I meet them at my shows. They come up to me afterwards. They're like, dude, I loved your shit. But, uh, you know, I'm not changing. I'm not changing for who I'm with. I'm so like you, but I'm not changing. I'm on my third wife. I'm on my third wife. I'm like, how about changing? Why, why would you not? Why would you not? Some, some people, they just have that... I'm going to be who I am and fuck you and just deal with it. And, uh, I'm in, you know, whatever it is, maybe with comedians, they think oh, I'm entertaining. I'm entertaining. Is that all life is about? Is about like how your comedy career is? Isn't there more? Isn't there like another level to life, you know, where, you try to be a good person, you try to be an example. If you're a dad, if you're a husband, you try to be a man, you try to treat your wife well, you try to uh, be respectful and a good guy and somebody that she's proud that she picked, you know? And if you're with somebody that isn't like that, that you're not proud of, just fucking get out of the relationship, you know? Don't stick in it and just keep being a shithead because she sucks. You know? Am I making points? I hope I am. Uh, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to get that out there. It was one of my topics that I wanted to talk about. It was just like, I don't, you know, I'm not going to play that game. Because one of the patrons was like, oh, just fucking, you know, go back at people that are fucking mean to you. It's like, you know, I love radio wars. I love radio wars. You know, go, I love that shit. I'm like, does anyone like getting in fights? I, I mean, I don't. I don't like getting in fights. I don't like arguing with people. I always feel horrendous afterwards. You know? It's just, it's... I'm fine. I don't think I'm unhappy. And I'm like, oh my god. Uh, I don't have a ton of patron subscribers. I don't have a ton of people... Uh, you know, I don't pack every gig I go to do and like, uh, make 20 grand for the Friday and the Saturday night. You know, I do my gigs when I get them. I got one this week. I'm going to Philly doing the punchline. I'll be all over Philly radio on Thursday morning. You'll probably hear me on Preston and Steve. You'll probably hear me on Debella. I think I'm recording Debella on Thursday and then it'll air on Friday. Um, I don't know what else they have lined up for me. I'll find out soon. Uh, and then I go to the Borgata. I'll be there from uh, Sunday, Mother's Day. That's the 12th of May, all the way through to the 18th. Uh, and then uh, I'm doing a gig in Pleasantville, New York. I got that coming up. And then I got the big uh, mental health comedy tour show with the nonprofit that's actually going to be there on the 30th of May at the comic strip in New York City. All these gigs, all the tickets are available on my website, joematterese.com. See how much better I am when I'm not fucking looking what you're saying? I was trying to explain that to somebody today. I said, uh, back when I used to teach stand-up, I would do this little drill. I would, uh, I would put the comedian on stage, you know, who took my class, and then I'd tell all the other students that were in the class that they should just uh, give a lot of love to the comedian, like laugh your ass off at everything, I don't care what he's saying, just fucking go nuts, love it, love it, love it, right? And, uh, and then, uh, uh, and then, um, basically, uh, then the same drill was I put the same comedian back on stage. I go, all right, now everybody here, give them nothing. Give them zilch. Give them zero. Zilcho. And then you would see the same comedian who seemed normal when everybody was laughing and giving them love just suck. Like, be so uncomfortable. All the nerves come in. So that's basically what happens. That's what happens. And, uh... Right now, I want to take a I want to take a quick pause because I'm going to fix the sound for you guys at home because I um, I realize the mixing board is not connected.
to you guys. So that's probably why you didn't hear the sound to Dan Natterman. And you're probably just hearing me in the room, but you're not hearing the, uh, the real uh, recorded sound that I'm doing into my H4N. But give me two seconds and I'm going to plug this in. And then it should sound better. Oh. This little contraption has to go in. Oh, your mother's ass. Where the fuck is it? Oh, cunt. Oh, fuck you. Well, well, the, uh, the, uh, the little, uh, adapter, of course, is, uh, I think it's downstairs. I think my wife had to use it <laughs> to make her headphones work. My wife had to use it to make her headphones work on our, uh, treadmill in our basement. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to discontinue what I'm talking about here. It's, you can hear me. Everything's fine. You're just not you're not getting the feed that is getting recorded that will go in the uh, in the podcast this week uh, on iTunes. But I hope you uh, I hope you understand what I'm talking about here and and you agree with me um, and and my attitude towards all this stuff. And I'm able to do that because uh, I quieted the anger in me. Why would you not want to do that? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why you'd want to be a fucking loose wire and just, you know, almost getting your ass kicked every other week. What's the point of that? What's the point of that life? I don't know. Well, I wanted to keep this podcast pretty short today. The live one here. As I want to go downstairs, I want to put my kids to bed. I do this at 8 o'clock. And uh, it's usually pretty short. It's every Monday. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you know who I am a little bit more now. I hope you want to come to the shows in Philadelphia this weekend. Maybe you come to Atlantic City. Maybe you come to New York. Maybe you subscribe to the Patreon page because you want to help uh, a big nonprofit raise more money for mental health awareness. Go to T-W-L-O-H-A dot com, okay, if you want to read about them, okay? But if you want to uh, subscribe to the Patreon page and raise money, because I am giving 50% of it to them, all you have to do is go to Patreon dot com backslash medicated, okay? You got that? That's all you got to do. And I'd love to know... Uh, you know, you can write this on the page. What comedians do you think I, uh, should be added to the mental health comedy tour? We got uh, 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 anorexia, a anger, uh, bipolar. Uh, it's so funny. It's like every comedian that we all have all these. It's like uh, sleeping problems, uh, schizophrenic. There's a couple of schizophrenic comedians. That would be a really interesting one. Uh, what else you got? Um, I guess uh, depression is huge in comedy. Addiction. All those. So if you want to write some of the comedians you think would be great for the mental health comedy tour, I'd love uh, to see you add, uh, add some names on the Facebook Live window right there. But the 30th, we'll have Dan Natterman, myself, Chloe uh, LeBranch, Preston Gitlin, and we'll be uh, raising money. Okay, everybody, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Medicated. You know, it was kind of short. Let's uh, let's see what music should we end this little baby with. Uh, I think this is a good one. We'll go Rocky. Always love Rocky. Go in the distance. You can't hear it, but trust me, it's there. You guys have a great night. See you later. And uh, subscribe. All right? I'm trying to help. That's all I want to do. Go the distance. <laughs>